as some governors across the country start to ease social distancing measures. Some are asking when they'll be scaled back here and how soon businesses could reopen. Kyra Seven's Ryan Sims looked into new research from UW scientists. Here in Belltown, scenes like this have become normal, unfortunately, the last few weeks. Uh, we're talking about boarded up bars and restaurants. It is eerily quiet here, too, especially for a Saturday night. But starting this time next month, that may finally start to change. UW researchers say May 18th could be a key date in this entire crisis. It's on that day when they believe it'll be safe to start scaling back on social distancing. Here at Cary Park in Queen Anne, though, social distancing already seems to be out in favor of a splendid view. Just having everybody look at us, it was, uh, felt great. Despite an order from Seattle's mayor that bans gatherings in parks this weekend, Seattle's newest married couple took wedding pictures here today. Stanley and Carissa lay out Pepitelli. Both insisted they had followed social distancing. No, we were all six feet apart. No worries. <laughs> before coming here. We kind of had a couple people um, at the church, and then we kind of went Facebook Live. So it was a social media wedding. Today, the White House seemed to notice UW's research. In a press conference this afternoon, they spoke of our state's progress in tackling this crisis. They were one of the first states and the first metro areas to really move to social distancing. And so they've really never had a peak like many of the other metros. Of course, any reopening here in our state depends on Governor Inslee. Right now, his plan calls for an end to the state home order on May 4th. But it appears he will now face calls from UW researchers to delay that key date for another two weeks. Here at Cary Park, Stanley and Carissa are just glad they got married when they did. I think people are just kind of supportive, you know, that we're still getting, we're still doing it. Life has to kind of keep going on. All this is there appears to be a flattening of the curve here in our state. In fact, those same UW researchers say it has now been two weeks since we reached the peak number of deaths here. We're in Belltown, Ryan Sims, Cairo 7 News.